Now, I know many of you have heard this claim, and I have heard many of times as well. Many people always say, you are born the way you are. You are born gay. Now, here is the interesting thing. Now, to make such claims that you are born homosexual. Now, that must mean that it must be a homosexual gene within the human race. And if there is a homosexual gene, it must then support the reproduction of life. It has to make logical sense to recreate life. Now, when we look at the action of homosexuality, it does not reproduce at all. That is a plain, obvious statement for all of you. Now, if we can prove that there is no such thing as a gay gene, which means a gay gene does not exist, that means that this claim being born naturally gay is irrelevant which means it lacks roots, which means you are not born gay. The debate over whether there's a gay gene has raged for decades. Gay activists have long claimed there is, but good luck getting them to produce any solid science to back it up. Peter Tatchell, a gay activist in the United Kingdom, has written a surprising article, Homosexuality, It Isn't Natural. He told Family News in Focus, genetics isn't the sole determining factor in whether someone will be gay. When we're talking about gay marriage, we're not talking about an immutable characteristic like the color of your skin, okay? The human genome map was completed in 2003. There is no gay gene. There's no gay what? There is no gay gene. There is no what? There is no gay gene. No, you was born that way. There is no gay gene. No, it's normal for you to like the same sex. There is no gay gene. Gene. No, you're not demonically possessed. There is no gay gene. Even science itself is telling you that being a homo isn't normal. Even science itself is telling you that being a lesbian isn't normal. Let's get some more. There is no gay gene. Okay? So the concept that you're born that way and it's an immutable, con uh, immutable characteristic is an unscientific lie okay the human genome map has been completed i urge you as the news media to give both sides a fair and open hearing on this debate because it has tremendous ramifications not only for our society but for our children now i am more persuaded that there are fundamental inborn biological factors that make people more inclined to be gay or more inclined to be straight. But I think it would also be equally foolish to close the door and say that it's simply down to biological factors. There's no other factors or influences that uh, impact on a person's sexual orientation. Well, that research goes back about 15 years now. They've been looking for gay gene or genes for 15 years. And the answer, um, as at this date, November 2006, is that no statistically significant gene has been found, and they even looked at the whole human genome. Uh, the research will probably continue, but for perspective, I should say this. They have found genes which are strongly suspected, with much better evidence, of being involved in schizophrenia. But in spite of the searches, they have not found something equivalent for uh, gay gene. In 2003, they discovered that whether it was a gay gene or not, it was gay activists who went out to prove whether it was a gay gene or not. To their surprise, there was no such thing found. The X and Y chromosomes from the male and female did not support any genetics for homosexuality. In other words, there is no gay gene. However, since genetics doesn't support this, it must mean that homosexuality is not natural. 
You heard with your own ears the people who went to research these things to prove, to find out whether there is a gay gene. And they themselves, because there is no gene that supports such a claim, they said it is unnatural. Okay, so now that we know that it's unnatural, what does that mean? It means this, if it's unnatural and it's an act of sodomy, that means that it is a sin. People, homosexuality is nothing to be proud of. This is something that you have to practice to get rid of. Because the more you practice it, the more it takes full control over you. See, this is what you people have to understand. Before that sin comes outwardly, you have to first accept it into your life. See, you have to understand this. The beauty of being a human being is having the gift of free will. Meaning this, no sin is forced upon anyone. See, Satan, he doesn't even have the power to force sin into your life. See, in the end, you are the one that either accept it or reject it. Now, when you accept that sin inwardly, then it's only a matter of time before that sin is inside of you. In baby language, all I just described to you is that having fantasies in your mind. See, when you begin to fantasize, you begin to feed your mind upon certain things. Then it's only a matter of time before they manifest themselves. That's why when you feed yourself with good things in your mind, you began to behave in a good way, meaning you began to show good fruits. OK, so now that we have discovered that homosexuality is a sin, what does that mean? It means that it must be confessed. Now, what does the Bible speaks about confessing your sins? The Bible substantiates that you must confess your sins, then turn away from your sins. Then after that, you turn your eyes upon Jesus. Now the world, they have played a game by planting this thought, this ideology inside the hearts and minds of people today. And the world is saying, instead of confessing your sins, be proud of who you are. Be proud of being gay. Now this family, this confirms Bible prophecy. Sodom and Gomorrah are here and they are a few moments away by witnessing the destruction. Now what am I saying family? The earth is only a few hours away from witnessing the great trumpet sound. See, family, I understand that a lot of you all are comfortable with your homosexuality lifestyles, but a lot of you all have been tricked and deceived to thinking that this is okay. And for the gay Christians, all those Sunday church choirs, the majority of you are homosexuals. You gonna sing your way into hell with gasoline draws on if you believe that lie, if you think the most high God is gonna allow you to make it into his kingdom being a homosexual. Now, that being said, in the next video, we are going to look at the demon that's behind gay pride. And why are people hosting gay pride? Who is behind gay pride? It's your boy, Brother Kwame, from the Lion of Judah Teach channel, and I am out. Shut it down.